Good morning, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to touch base and check in since uh, the last check-in video I did uh, Tuesday where I discussed uh, the possibility of creating my own service to interact with Benjamin's HID Guardian drivers, um, a set of drivers that are being designed to help uh, eliminate the exclusive mode issues that uh, users are having. Um, before I get too far into this video, I do want to say that this only applies to the uh, Sony official wireless adapter and using the controller via USB. Um, you can't currently use these drivers with Bluetooth uh, and I don't know if that's going to be possible in the future due to the way that Bluetooth stacks are written. So right now it's only for the Sony wireless dongle and USB and if you don't have one of those wireless dongles yet I want to keep urging you to get one. It's fantastic. It solves all the wireless dropouts and all that nonsense. Uh, it has a lot better connection. So it's all I use when I use DualShock 4 anymore now. I don't even use Bluetooth for it anymore. So, um, so I was able to write the service and it seems to be working good. I've tested it with Input Mapper 1.6 and 1.7. Um, it might also work with older versions of Input Mapper, uh, but that's untested. So uh, I'll be releasing it as an installer. And basically all you have to do is install it, restart the computer, and it should work right out of the box. So I'm going to demonstrate right here. I have Input Mapper 1.6 installed. Um, and I have my DualShock 4 connected via the uh, DualShock 4 Sony adapter. Go ahead and start it up and you see immediately that it's showing that it's not able to connect exclusively. Um, so this is what normal users would see and uh, you know it can be because of a varying degree of problems. Uh, I know Steam causes issues, uh, Origin causes issues and there's tons of other applications that we haven't even figured out yet to cause the issue. Um, so instead of you know trying to figure out what these applications are and constantly close them out this driver keeps those applications for even connecting to the controller to begin with so it doesn't matter now or you know once you install this driver it won't matter if you have origin open it'll work because origin won't be able to connect to the controller at all won't even see it so what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and close down input mapper and i'm going to install the input mapper hid guardian installer yeah, this is a very quick setup here. And that's it. Once it's installed, it's going to require us to restart the computer. And that's so these devices, when the computer reboots, when they reconnect, uh, that filter driver will be loaded into the device. Because uh, usually it takes either un unplugging and plugging the de device back in for that filter driver to get pushed in or a computer restart so we're gonna restart that's the easiest way to do it alright so I've restarted after installing the drivers now I'm back in Windows I'm go ahead I'm gonna pull up Origin I'm gonna pull up Steam I have both Origin and Steam going haven't run Input Mapper yet under normal conditions the controller would not be able to connect exclusively uh, especially with Origin, those two just don't get along. But now with these new drivers, let me go ahead, launch Input Mapper 1.6. And there you have it. The controller is connected exclusively didn't have to worry about anything, no scripts ran in the background, it didn't require it to connect, disconnect, do a bunch of crazy stuff like that. It just worked right off the bat. And so uh, this is a great solution. Um, it's not re it's not going to require you know that script to constantly be running and sometimes you know getting the loop where you're stuck with getting these tens you know dozens of pop-up messages. Um, this new HID drivers the, they just work and it's fantastic um, there's still an alpha there's still some work to be done on them but uh, I believe everything is stable enough for use right now um, they are only Windows 10 
and that's just because the signing process is difficult that during development um, Benjamin he's just signing them for Windows 10 because that's the development platform he's using uh, in the future I do believe he is going to be able to sign them for older versions of Windows um, it's just right now during early development when he's you know creating so many of them and releasing them it only makes sense for him to sign for the operating system he's developing under um, but only Windows 10 right now um, there are both 64 and 32-bit uh, versions um, so uh, if you have a thir the 32-bit versions untested I don't have a 32-bit machine to test it on uh, so if anybody does and you have issues or it works please comment let me know um, otherwise uh, I'll have this up for download on the website shortly. I'll have the link for download directly uh, below in this video. Um, just get that installer, run it, and input mapper 1.6 should work so long as you're using USB, a Sony wireless adapter, and you're on Windows 10. Alright guys, that'll do it. Everybody have a good one. I'll see you Tuesday.